weeks. The pandemic, as we know, has changed the way we work, sending millions of people home from the office and ushering in an era of Zooms, teleconferences, and remote offices. But in a post-vaccine world, some companies are trying to entice employees to come back to their desks. WGN's Mike Lowe has a look at one suburban company's effort. The pandemic drove people to work from home. My commute into work each day is about 30 minutes. Now, after two years, Rob Martirano is driving back to the office. I uh, increased my frequency as things with the pandemic started to die down. Come in, come in. You could say he's ready to do some leg work. Come in. The four-legged kind. Good boy. This is Pretzels the dog, a seven-year-old Australian shepherd who is both Martirano's companion and co-worker. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Hi, Pretzels complete with his own ID badge. It's literally the funniest thing. Martirano is a vice president at Alight Solutions, a Lincolnshire-based company that manages payroll, health benefits, and retirement plans for other large corporations. But the office has been virtually empty since the beginning of the pandemic. You know, we do believe that the world of work has changed and we need to change with that. Alight's chief human resources officer says the company has adopted a hybrid model of remote and in-person work. Let's go. Knowing the post-pandemic workforce has different feelings and expectations. One of the things that we realized was people love dogs. And during the pandemic, uh, some people got a dog for the first time. Other people spent more time with their dogs. And so we wanted to create a workplace where people could bring their dog in and, and have it with them. Perhaps. According to a recent survey, nearly 90% of U.S. businesses are offering new perks and incentives to their employees, <laughs> hoping they'll return to the office. Some are offering happy hours, ice cream trucks, others catered meals. At a light, it's snacks, fresh fruit, and pretzels. I mean, I always felt guilty when I would leave him. And, you know, I, I, I typically leave pretty early in the morning and I'm here, here by 7 a.m. and not home till 5 p.m., 6 p.m. some days. So it's really nice to be able to bring him to work. I can take him for a walk at lunch if he needs to get outside and stretch his legs. And it's probably good for me to get outside and stretch my legs. The company has set up dog-friendly workstations with water, toys and a gate. Hey Pretz, I'm gonna go get some coffee. Perfect for coffee breaks. You stay. He goes and sits by the edge of the gate. He doesn't bark. He sits there, waits patiently for me. And then when I come back, he goes back and sleeps under the desk. Hi buddy. Each dog must pass a check for insurance and vaccinations. Martirano says his dog is no distraction. He pretty much sleeps. Whenever anyone walks by, he'll stand up and wag his tail, but he actually spends most of the day sleeping under my boss's desk. How do we feel like we're doing with the rollout of our values? Pretzels is comfortable attending meetings. We'll bring him to a meeting. He'll say hi to everyone, get his pets, and then he'll go lay down under the table somewhere and just take it all in and sometimes pretzels is the reason for the meetings. People constantly stop by, people, people that I haven't seen ever or haven't seen in a number of years will, will come by or they'll, they'll instant message me and say, hey, is your dog here today? I wanna to come down and see your dog. Pretzels, come here, do you wanna play? Do you wanna play with me? Look at this is Kristen. <gasps> I will leave my cubicle from the other side just to take a break and come over and see pretzels. Pretzels, can you sit? Do you sit? It's stress relief. It's something to break up your day. You ready? You want to go get it? Go get it. Gives me energy for the rest of the afternoon. Pretzels now has an unofficial role with the company. <laughs> bringing people back together inside the office and into the office. We're not kind of insisting people come back nine to five, sit at your desk and don't talk to anyone. We want to bring people in um, and when they do that is for specific purposes. And why not bring your dog with you? In Lincolnshire, Mike Lowe, WGN News.